Ian Walsh, and this is Behind the Cover. The week before, I was in Cabo. My internet wouldn't work, and my phone wouldn't work, so I was like borrowing Josh Kendrick from Red Bull's phone to like call my brother and get like an update on like what the swell was doing and like having him read me the numbers and then everything started looking really good for Porto. I'd been talking to Greg Long and he said the bank looks good and the swell looked really good for that week there and he was psyching so that was kind of enough to get me pretty psyched. Made it to Porto and got in the night before the start of the swell, the big morning, and I went out there, like the worst way ever to start a trip. Before I even rode a wave, I broke a board I borrowed and got pounded all the way to the beach. That night I went to bed and had a feeling it'd be a little bit better in the morning. Dorian was flying down to meet us there and he got in that night and then the next day it was on. A good wave came in and went underneath me and I like couldn't get it because it went. I was a little bit too far out for it, but I watched from the back and it just exploded into the channel. You know, I was talking to Greg a bit and he was telling me like, yeah, if one of them holds open like that, usually like two or three more will do it in the same line. And right when I came over that wave, the next one was just like this thing shoveling from like sideways down the beach. I didn't even really have time to think. Maybe I can doggy door it, I'm just gonna go. Right when I stood up, my board started to give. And like, I felt my fins leave the face of the wave and right when I landed, I was so focused on just getting into the barrel that I didn't even think too much. You know, you're not thinking at that point. It's all just a feeling. I could barely get the thing to like, get the edge in and turn and turn and turn. And I was watching this lip coming, like not even looking down the line or anything, just trying to get under the lip. And right when I got under it, I just felt like the emptiness of the barrel. I was like, this is it right here. Like that's why I came down here to feel that. So I got like one quick vision and jumped into it and it just compressed me into the bottom. Everybody's leaving and the lights are Full scorpion, like legs hit the back of my head, popped up and got like three more waves on the head and then somehow skizzled out and the current made it out the back. Pretty good start to the morning. <laughs> I like Mexico. I like Mexican food. I like Mexican waves. Everything about that place.